Epic Lloyd and Nice Peter, also known as <laughs> possibly the most unique channels on YouTube and one of the most iconic. The series pits historical and popular figures against each other in fictional rap battles and was the perfect mix of nostalgia, fan service and YouTube merged together on a platform that would gain traffic and intrigue, getting millions of views over the years and making them YouTube icons. I'm the head of state, you're like a head of cabbage, about to get smacked Buy my stimulus package. <laughs> it launched in 2010, Epic Rap Battles of History began as a unique blend of history and pop culture, hip hop quickly gaining traction with creative mashups. With battles like Albert Einstein versus Stephen Hawkins, Darth Vader versus Adolf Hitler. These are unique battles with fantastic barbs. They weren't pulling any punches, they really truly went for it. So many dudes been with your mom, who even knows if I'm your father. You're a pissed off little prick with a Napoleon dick. You call that a mustache? I call that dirty Sanchez on your lip. Mozart, for example, versus Justin Bieber. Rick Grimes versus Walter White. As you can see here, from a purely YouTuber coaching perspective, what they did is they went out of their way to find two trending topics and mash them against each other. This is fantastic for views, fantastic for search foods, fantastic for advertisers, and it made them millions. Intricate lyrics, clever wordplay, high quality productions, giving epic rap battles of history is distinct appeal. Guest appearances from people like Snoop Dogg and Weird Al Yankovic really added to the credibility and the flair of the battles. I'm a master, I discovered gravity. I dropped rhymes like they're falling from an apple tree. You don't match for me, you got a bachelor's degree. I got a unit of force named after me. They also pulled in fellow YouTubers such as Ray William Johnson and Rhett and Link. This was a melting pot of everything YouTube. Epic rap battles of history's fusion of entertainment, education, and hip hop inspired a wave of creative content across YouTube. Everybody loved it. Everybody understood what you could do with green screens. Everybody could see how creative you could be on the YouTube platform. You didn't just have to vlog, you could show your skills. The show's acclaim led to multiple awards, including streaming awards for writing and original song. Over time, it continued to innovate with new characters, new themes, staying fresh and engaging fans across multiple seasons. They have taken multiple hiatuses over time, including a break in 2014, where they returned with renewed energy, continuing to deliver beloved content. They took time off to have children and raise families. They also was acquired by Disney. I rock the mic properly. This, however, since rolled back, they seem to have reacquired their own rights and started publishing content more regularly and have announced a return for 2023. Anticipation is growing for the new release, showing its enduring appeal. These quirky mashups, carefully crafted lyrics, epic rap battle of history remains a standout example of YouTube's creativity. It just goes to prove that if you've got an idea, if you can deliver it properly, if you can craft it fantastically, then you can really push it out there. Epic rap battle of history hasn't really had any controversies. They haven't really put anybody's nose out of joint. Unfortunately, all they've done is they've just grown up, made a lot of money, and the urgency isn't there anymore. People love their content, but they don't have to fight tooth or nail to make it work. They have gone independent recently, people are supporting via Patreon, and as I said, they will return in 2023. A bad motherfucker from the wallet to the 